Shivani Sharma, Assistant Professor at Biani Girls College. Today we are continuing our last lecture that is based upon the factors affecting microbial growth. We have already done few factors such as temperature, pH, osmosis and today we are continuing two last factors also that are oxygen and radiation. These two factors are also uh, responsible for microbial growth whether uh, the microbes will have particular growth or not it depends on these two factors are also so let's see how these factors correlates with the microbial growth first of all we will study about oxygen as we know for some of the microorganism oxygen is essential for their growth because it correlates with processes it which consumes or conserves energy okay it means oxy oxygen is correlated with the processes which are involved in energy conservation. So, we can say that some of the organisms who do photosynthesis or respiration, they go through a ETC cycle that is electron transport chain. In that uh, electron transport chain, we have to, uh, that organisms require one electron acceptor in the last. Okay, so their oxygen in the aerobic uh, microorganism, oxygen uh, acts as an electron, last electron acceptor. So that's why it is involved in uh, uh, conservation of energy. That's why those organisms which require oxygen for their survival are called as aerobic bacteria. Here we can classify the bacteria or we can say uh, other organisms on the basis of presence or absence of oxygen. Okay. First of all, uh, we have uh, divided in two things, two categories that is obligate and facultative. What is obligate and what is facultative? Obligate means that is strict environment. Obligate ka matlab hota hai ki agar maan lije obligate aerobes hai. Means unhe ek strict aerobic environment chahiye in the presence of oxygen. Agar oxygen availability nahi hai to it means wo grow nahi kar paayenge. That are strict aerobes. That's why strict uh, organisms ko kahenge obligate. And that is facultative. Facultative whether that condition is present or not they can adapt, they can survive, that is facultative means in the absence or presence uh, ap in both the conditions if an organism is growing that is facultative. So further on we can divide obligate and facultative organisms into two, two categories that is aerobes and anaerobes. So we can have obligate aerobes and obligate ana uh, anaerobes. It means those organisms which are completely aerobic, which completely requires uh, oxygen or they can't survive without oxygen that are known as aerobes, obligate aerobes. So in this we can uh, take an example of fungi. Most of our fungi, some of them are anaerobes also, but most of the fungi are aerobic, obligate aerobes. Then obligate anaerobes and we can say those organisms which can't live in presence of oxygen means they completely requires absence of oxygen that are obligate anaerobes. Example we can take Clostridium botulinum okay this is a type of bacteria strict anaerobe we can say Clostridium botulinum. So how these are uh, affected uh, we can say ki agar anaerobic conditions may grow karne wale organism hai agar unhe hum aerobic conditions provide kar de to un pe kya effect hoga dekhiye ye do types se effect ho sakta hai first of all agar uh, first of all jo inki electron transport chain hogi wo disturb ho jayegi okay kuch molecules jo hain unke andar microorganisms ke andar jab kuch molecules present hai biomolecules wo oxidize ho jate hain ya deactivate ho jate hain to further jo metabolic activity hai organism ki wo cease ho jayegi example ke taur pe hum dekhe yahan pe to sulfhydryl groups hote hain kuch ya keh sakte hain enzymes get deactivated Okay, जैसे कि सल्फिल हाइड्रल ग्रुप्स आर ऑक्सीडाइज्ड जब ये सल्फिल हाइड्रल ग्रुप्स जो हैं ऑर्गेनिज्म में ये ऑक्सीडाइज हो जाएंगे इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन तो कुछ एंजाइम्स हमारे डीएक्टिवेट हो जाएंगे सेकंड इज जब ऑक्सीडेशन हो जाता है 
तो कुछ मॉलिकल्स के ऑक्सीडेशन होने के बाद में कुछ हमारे पास अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं जो किसी भी बायोमोलिक्यूल को अनस्टेबल या इनहेरेंट बना देते हैं सो दीज टू कंडीशन आर देयर जो एक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म को ऑब्लीगेट एनारोब बना देता है सेकेंड कैटेगरी इज आर फैकल्टेटिव फैकल्टेटिव एरोब मीन्स वी दोज ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच कैन लिव इन प्रेजेंस और एबसेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन जैसे कि एग्जाम्पल हम लेते हैं स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस नेक्स्ट इज फैकल्टेटिव एनारोब्स मीन्स विच द सेम थिंग कि अगर एनारोबिक कंडीशन प्रेजेंट है तो भी दे कैन सर्वाइव अगर किसी कारण से एरोबिक कंडीशन भी प्रेजेंट है देन दे ऑल्सो कैन सर्वाइव एग्जाम्पल वी कैन टेक इकोलाई एंड एस और यस ओके सो हेयर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड वन मोर फैक्टर द नेक्स्ट फैक्टर एंड द लास्ट फैक्टर इज रेडिएशन रेडिएशन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म हाउ रेडिएशन अफेक्ट्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म लेट सी दैट इज मोस्टली द आयोनाइजिंग रेडिएशन मीन्स द रेडिएशन विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड आफ्टर आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ एनी मटीरियल ओके तो दोज आयोनाइजिंग रेडिएशन इज mostly harmful for organisms as we used to do in our microbiological practicals before we doing things there is a type of sterilization with the help of uv radiation okay uv radiation ki wajah se hum jo hamare microbiology ke jo practicals hote hain unme hum hamare equipments ko sterilize karte hain with the help of uv because that uv radiation kills microorganism so here i can say that there is our emr spectrum means electromagnetic radiation spectrum jo hamare sun se jo energy radiate hoti hai uska spectrum jisme energy gamma rays se leke radio waves tak range karti hai it means gamma rays have the lowest wavelength and the radio waves have the largest wavelength in that there is a part from 400 एन एम नैनोमीटर टू सेवन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर दैट इज़ अ विजिबल पार्ट दैट इज़ अ विजिबल लाइट ओवी कैन से विप ग्योर एंड बिफोर दैट इज टू फिफ्टी टू फोर हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर देर इज़ अ यू वी रेडिएशन दिस रेडिएशन और दिस रेंज और सम फार इंफ्रारेड रेडिएशन अफेक्ट्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म वॉट दे डू वॉट दिस यू वी डू डू माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म विच लीड्स इन देयर डेथ दैट इज इट ब्रेक्स डाउन द एमिनो एचिस विच प्रेजेंट इन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म और विच लीड्स टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड इफ प्रोटीन इज नॉट फॉर्म देन डेफिनेटली एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म विल गोइंग टू बी किल्ड सो हेयर इट ब्रेक डाउन द एमिनो एसिड्स एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से दैट ट्रिप्टोफेन इज changed into toxic product okay here the example is the uv radiation changes the tryptophan or protein to the toxic product in any microorganism and that pro toxic product leads to the microorganism death and there is one more microorganism that is uh dean coccus radiodurans dean coccus radiodurans it is resistant to the radiation any type of radiation how because first of all when any radiation get imparted on it it just get blast or it get divided into many pieces but after that these pieces get together after the blasting these pieces of microorganism get together stick together to form the माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म अगेन इट जस्ट लाइक कि आप किसी पे एनर्जी डाल रहे हो और वो जो चीज़ है या वो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म डिफरेंट बहुत सारे पार्ट्स में डिवाइड होके ब्लास्ट हो जाती है बट दोज पार्ट्स अगेन रिपीस टुगेदर एंड फॉर्म्स दी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म लाइवली माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म सो वी कैन से दिस डिनोगोकस रेडियो ड्यूरेंस इज रेजिस्टेंट टू रेडिएशन and which uh, wavelength of light is uh, uh, responsible for its blasting that is uv 260 nm okay thank you so much for watching this video if you have uh, like this video please like and subscribe